I think most Americans, since it is I, mm. I think uh, most Americans would say my. Um, maybe, yeah. Okay, and there is a reason why we would do that. Uh, if you worked for a company, and it's not manuscript, it's proposal, would you say my latest proposal or the latest proposal? Yeah, I, I think that uh, they, it, 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 it's better to emphasize that it's my. Okay, now that's the key. So once again, if you work for a company, probably you'll say the or our. But he's a writer. He's writing his own personal stuff. That's why my would be more natural. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Selfish writer. That's the <laughs> idea. That's right. That's right. But if you're the president of the company, you say, you're going to say you see this? Yes. I'm sorry. Can you see this? Is, this is the way I know my vowels? Yeah. See, you learned a totally different way from Americans. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. See? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that style, but I've never taught that style. But yeah, there's, that's the thing. Different countries actually learn different methods. No, actually not. Um, oh, in Korea, it's well, totally uh, different. In Korea, it's totally different. Yeah. Actually, um, and these are, these are my deep tones. Right, right, right. I, I understand. Uh, that's and, and you see, and you know, this uh, New York actor is teaching me this. It's not somebody, somebody uh, from America. Sure, yeah. It's an IPA system, and it comes from what they call prescriptive pronunciation. Um, Your favorite system. <laughs> yeah, and that's the problem. Um, they, that's the reason. Yeah, if you look at different dictionaries, they use different symbols and it gets really confusing. Even different American dictionaries sometimes use different symbols. But if you're comfortable with that way, keep going. That's absolutely fine. I'm not going to try to change it. That's yeah, fine. But I, I don't really know the short and the long. Some I know. have problems with that. And That's I don't want to learn that way because it will confuse me. I'm guessing that probably your daughter learned that way though. My daughter doesn't know, even, uh, she knows your way, uh, she doesn't even know the thief tones. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, yeah, she's like you. Yeah, it depends on, on what you grow up with, and that's, that's what's important. I understand that, totally. Uh, I, um, I can share uh, uh, my way uh, about um, long and short vowel, uh, vowel uh, 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 in Russia, uh, no, I, I I read about um, close uh, close uh, close to vowel vowel and open vowel. Uh, That's open another vowel, method. Yes, open vowel is everything long. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe it's simple. Uh, uh, close. A vowel, uh, ah, it's tricky. <laughs> yeah, I know, I, I know. That's why, that's why, I, in my opinion, what you learned in elementary school and middle school, you should probably stick with that method. But you should find a native English speaker who also knows your method, who can really help you with the English sounds. Um, and that's what, that's what I recommend for Korean students. And Spanish is another thing, too, because uh, Alberto has helped me teach English sounds with the Spanish way of learning. And it's totally different than what I've ever learned. But it works for Spanish students. It's amazing. Uh, when he teaches <laughs> something and the Spanish student repeats it, it's like, oh yeah, that's right, good job. But I, I can't, <laughs> I I can't teach it because it's not natural to me. Um, so, so finding a, a, if it's if you have a really stubborn 
problem and it's hard for you to learn a new system, going to somebody who knows the old system is totally acceptable to me. I totally understand that. Yeah, it's, it's tough though. But yeah, the open vowels and the closed vowels, <laughs> oh, there's so many methods, so many. And people, people always complain on my videos. What are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, so <laughs> I, I can only help so many. <laughs> okay, let me go to the next, next scene here. Uh, this time we got Corinne and the hotel clerk. Let me have... Oh, Miguel is being very quiet. Uh, Gene, can you My be Corinne? And Miguel, can you be the clerk? Okay. I thought you were sleeping, Miguel. No, I'm just listening. <laughs> Go for it, guys. What? If you can turn that thing off, I'll have to ask you to leave. How are you for two people? Well, you can wait for them outside. Yeah, I guess I'd better. I wouldn't want to take any attention away from the hooker. <laughs> all right, all right. Out. Out. What do you say, Crowell? Excellent job. Don't forget the S. Hookers. Hookers? <laughs> I said that. <laughs> Excellent job. That was really good. Great job, guys. Acting was perfect. Uh, let's keep moving here. Let's have uh, Jean be Diane, Miguel be the woman, and Berta be the voice. What's going on over here? There's a beach whale. She's dying. Is anyone here a marine biologist? A marine biologist? One more time, marine biologist? Marine biologist. Bi oh, it's a Y sound, biologist? Biologist. Perfect, excellent job. Let's move on. Okay. This time, I don't want to have Daniel be Testikoff again. Miguel, can you be Testikoff? Okay. And Daniel, can you be Jerry? And Berta, can you be Elaine, please? All right. Here is latest draft. I'll see you next week. Same time, same day. On time, please. Tanya, are you sleeping? Lennon is not here, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 tur I, tur I, turned, I, I just turned off my microphone and say things, you know. Go for it, buddy. Uh, okay. Uh, it was nice meeting you. Your real pleasure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, oh, um, by the way, Mr. Testikov, um, do you remember the other day when we were in the limo and? Uh, my organizer started making noise and you threw it out the window. Yes, how can I forget? <laughs> well, <laughs> would you believe that actually hit somebody in the head? Right in the head? Boing! <laughs> <laughs> what is that noise? Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Oops. Uh, oh, that's nothing. Um, and anyway, um, beep, 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 what's beep, going beep. on, huh? That noise. <laughs> no, no, that's my fault. <laughs> that noise. Beep, 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 beep. No, get out of my purse. <laughs> uh, it's a recorder. No, that's a radio. Ha! You were spying on me! Wow, Miguel! That's the best acting I've ever heard you do! Unbelievable! Great job. Okay. You know, you make me laugh. Yeah, it's fantastic. I, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's scary. Okay, Daniel, I need sarcasm. 
Okay. You're a real pleasure. No, no, no. You're a real pleasure. You're a real pleasure. Oh, that actually was much better. Try it again, Daniel. It was nice to meet you. You're a real pleasure. Sounds really good. Very good. And Berta, is it the other day or the other day? The other day. Perfect. Actually, once again, Canadians do say the other day, so it's not wrong. It's not wrong. All right, let's keep going here. Uh, we've got the crowd and Diane. Let me have, uh, we'll just have Daniel be the crowd and Jean be Diane. Okay. Come on, save the whale. You got to do it. Save the whale, Josh, for me. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible, Gene. No, that was good. <laughs> the voice was scary. <laughs> Great job. Okay, now the next scenes for George are very long, so I'm going to split George up every time. Uh, the first one, I'll have Berta. Oh, Berta, you got biologist again, no problem. What? You have this word again, no problem? Good. That's Good. what I have it, so I can practice more. Good. Mm -hmm. So, Berta, you'll be George, and then I'll go Daniel for Elaine, and Jean will be Kramer, <coughs> and Jerry will be Miguel, okay? And so the first page, so up to this page, uh, so uh, uh, Berta, your last line is whatever, okay? All right. All right. Go for it, Berta. So I started to walk into the water. I won't lie to you guys. I was terrified, but I pressed on, and as I made my way past the breakers, a strange calm came over me. I don't know if it was divine intervention or the kinship of all even things, but I tell you, Jerry, at that moment, at that moment, I was a marine biologist. Yeah. <laughs> George, it's so funny. Okay. Okay. George, I've just been reading this in the paper. It's unbelievable. I know. I was just I saying. know. Wait, it's Berta. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I was just telling them the story. Well, come on, George, finish the story. The sea was angry that day, my friends, like an old man trying, like an old man trying to... Okay, can I start again? Yes, but I want you to be dramatic. The sea was angry that day, my friends. The sea was angry. That day, my friends, like an old man trying to send back soup in a deli, <laughs> I got I got about 50 feet out, and suddenly a great beast appeared before me. I tell you, he was 10 stories high if he was a foot. As if sensing my presence, he left out a great bellow. I said, easy, big fella. And, uh, and then as I watched uh, him struggling, I realized that something was abstracting its breathing. From where I was standing, I could see directly into the eye and of the great fish. Mammal. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, what did you do next? Very good, guys. Let's. I'm going to change it this time. Uh, on this page, I want Miguel to be George, and we'll stick with Gene as Kramer, and Jerry will be Daniel, and Elaine will be Berta, and we'll finish it out that way. Well then, from out of nowhere, a huge tidal wave lifted me just like a cork and I found myself right on top of him, face to face with the blowhole. I could barely see from the waves crashing down upon me, but I knew something was there. So I reached my hand in, felt around, and I pulled out the obstruction. What is that, the tidal list? 
A hole in one, huh? <laughs> yeah, excellent, excellent. Well, uh, well, the crowd must have gone wild. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Jerry, they were all over me. It was like Rocky won. Diane came up to me, threw her arms around me, kissed me. We both had tears streaming down our faces. I never saw anyone so beautiful. It was at that moment that I decided to tell her that I was not a marine bi biologist. Wow, what'd you say? Told me to go to hell and and, and I took the bus home. <laughs> All right, let's go. What? Are you in a bad mood? Uh, I got my laundry back. Oh, golden boy? Didn't make it. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is golden boy's son, baby blue. <laughs> What's with you? Sand, it's everywhere. Yeah. All right, great job, everybody. Really good, very good, very good. Let me go back to the top here. Okay, uh, you, Berta, your pronunciation was fine, but I, I want more of the feeling. But I tell you, Jerry, at that moment, I was a marine biologist. But I, but I tell you, Jerry, at that moment, I was a marine biologist. Okay, now not too bad, but I, I really want these harder. I want them bigger because George really emphasizes. So I'm going to say it one more time. I tell you, Jerry, at that moment, I was a marine biologist. But I tell you, Jerry, at that moment, I was a marine biologist. Sounds much better. And I know that biologist is tough for you to say, but that sounded really good. That, that was really good. Marine biologist. Biologist. Perfect. That was excellent. Excellent job. It's biologist. not easy, I know. Okay, let's get this one again, uh, Berta. As I watched Tim struggling, remember we can cancel the H. As I watched him struggling. We can cancel the H where? Him, when we say the word him, as I watched Tim. As I watched him. So it sounds like Tim. It actually sounds like Tim if we say it fast. As I watched him struggling. As I watched. As I watched him. I have problems dropping the H because um, here in the South they pronounce it all the time and... Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and keep it then. Go ahead and keep it. One more time. Keep it. As I watched him. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Um, I could see... Now you said directly. They might actually say that in the South. Most Americans are... You're going to hear D directly. I could see directly into the eye. Directly. Good. The eye. And I'm not sure how they pronounce it in the South, that one. They, they I've heard direction. Right. I've heard, uh, let me see. Uh, come over here, direct, direct, direct. Yeah, but I know about the H's. We, they don't drop them off. They keep yes. the H's. Uh, yeah, some people say it, uh, but they never pronounce it like completely drop. Okay, very good. Yeah. Very good. And with the great, just be careful with the great, no, great fish. Great fish. Perfect. Great job. Great. I'm sorry. Uh, can I spell, uh, can I say direct, directly? Yeah, we're going to say there's a couple of pronunciations that you'll hear in America. Directly, directly, and directly. Some people will say directly, okay? You'll hear direction, direction, and direction. Most commonly is d direction and directly, okay? The next would be direction and directly. And sometimes you'll hear a D sound. Rarely, but it's possible. So my recommendation, uh, since you're not living in a special area in America, Learn the general pronunciation, which is directly and direction. 
Now notice also the T sound gets canceled. So it's directly and direction. That's the typical pronunciation in America. Okay, thank you. Yep. Okay, let's go to the next page here. Uh, and let me go to Miguel. Toss me like a cork. Toss me like a cork. Okay, so here we got that S and the M. Okay, we got the S sound and the M sound, which is going to make that toss me. If we say it fast, we're not going to really hear the T. So toss me like a cork. Toss me like a cork. Excellent job. I knew something was there. I knew something was there. Get that TH. I knew something was there. I knew something was there. Good. Is it the obstruction or the obstruction? The obstruction. Very good. And Rocky one. Rocky one. Excellent job. And let me hear Daniel again for this one. Okay. Uh, what'd you say? Perfect. That was much better. What'd she say? What'd she say? What'd she say? Perfect. Perfect. And this was uh, Jerry's line. Oh, this one, Daniel, you have to be more proud. This is Golden Boy's son. Baby boy. Wow. This, this, this is your Golden Boy. <laughs> it's Baby Blue. <laughs> oh, wow, baby. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, this is Gold Boy's son, Baby Blue. Oh, Daniel, you don't sound proud. Be, you're, it's your son. It's your grandson. This is Golden Boy's son, Baby Blue. This is Golden Boy's son, Baby Blue. Do you have a blue t-shirt, Daniel? Uh, uh Yeah, yeah. I want you to show us your blue t-shirt. <laughs> okay, no problem. But Jerry's uh, t-shirt looks uh, purple. I agree. I, it, it looks, you know, some people have weird color ideas. What color is, is yours? Is yours blue? Or this is blue, absolutely blue. From here Maybe gray? Blue. Maybe gray? It's it's because of the lighting. The lighting is bad. The lighting is bad. Wait, let me get another light. Uh, get another light here. Oops. Crash and everything. Blue. Blue, blue. I agree. It's blue. <laughs> <laughs> you get rid of that light. There we go. All right. Questions on Seinfeld. Actually, Bye. actually, I have. A Go ahead, Daniel. Uh, actually, I have a, a blue T-shirt, but I don't like it. it, it uh, I, because uh, just it's it's not my favorite uh, T-shirt. My favorite my favorite T-shirt is uh, is is a green T-shirt. It's a uh, uh, ro rogue squadron. It's a uh, start from uh, from from a uh, Star Wars. It <laughs> comes from Star Wars. Yeah, I, I can show you if you, if you want. If you want. <laughs> we want to see it. We want to see it. <laughs> uh, well, wait, wait a minute. I just uh, need to connect my camera. Good. Uh, wow. We see we're Daniel's excited. Star Wars shirt. We're excited. Anybody else that can ask questions on Seinfeld too? Yes, Shane. Yeah. Um, as I know, uh, the second name, uh, the Elaine's second name is Banks. Her last name, Bennis. Her last name. Ah, okay. Her family so name. What's the difference? So, like, uh, my, name is, my name is Shane Peterson. Her name is Elaine Bennis. George Costanza. Jerry oh. Seinfeld. But, uh... I heard uh, in last scenes uh, Elaine Banks. Bennis. Bennis. Okay, okay, okay. I was wrong. Yeah, the pronunciation should be Bennis. That's right. Bennis. Okay, okay. Evgeny Pavlov. 
Yes. Berta Granados. 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 Yeah. Miguel Duarte. Yeah. Duarte, sí. Yes. <laughs> Daniel, that's a red shirt. <laughs> I only saw his head. <laughs> Daniel's really colorblind. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here, here it is. Oh, he's holding I, I it up. If you can see it. Oh yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. The rebel oh. lion. Oh wow. <laughs> Rogue Squadron. Very it's a, nice. It's a tough, tough, tough. That's a gamer t shirt. Uh, it's, it's, it, I, I don't know, <laughs> here's, you, you can see X-Wings, do, do you see them? Just a little bit, oh uh, yes, enlist now, join now, there you go. <laughs> Very nice, it's, it's nicer yeah. than mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, questions, more questions, Daniel's t-shirt is boring. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll, I'll also have a uh, Sonic the the Hedgehog. Oh, the Sony the Hedgehog. So Sonic. Ah, uh, Sonic. That's right, Sonic. Sonic. Oh, yeah. oh, Daniel, you're such a young guy. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Shane, I have a question about. Yes, Uh In one part, George says. Uh, when he was describing the big beast, uh, he says, "I tell you, he was ten stories high if he, is, if he was a foot." Yeah. I didn't understand what does he mean. Okay, Daniel left a great link uh, on our cafe talking about this expression, and this is a this is a style of speech in America. It's not very common. But what this means is the simple way to understand this sentence, if we look at it, it doesn't make any sense, right? He was 10 stories high if he was a foot. Does that make sense on the, on the surface? Not. No. No. No, it doesn't. And I'm not going to explain the detail. Daniel's link explains the detail. But what this pattern means is he was 10 stories high. So it emphasizes the first part. And I'll give you a couple other examples. He was rich. He was rich if he had a dollar. If exactly. He had a dollar. If he had a dollar, exactly. Um, he was he was a genius if his IQ was 60. So do these make sense? Um, zero. It doesn't make sense, right? But what <laughs> this is a pattern that emphasizes the first part. So he was rich. He was a genius. Uh, uh, he was ten stories high. Okay. And once again, Daniel's link on our cafe. Uh, I also read that link, Daniel, uh, before you posted it, and. Uh, it, it's probably the best place for a definition. And I'm going to show you Daniel's link. Hold on a second. Let me find it here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Stack Exchange Network is pretty reliable source. It's not, it's, not a, it's not a forum. Right. Where just everyone can uh, answer, answer, a question, answer a question. It's a, it's an expert so source where people uh, exchange their expert views. Yeah. This is, uh, let me, oops, let me go back here. So if you look on our, our Let's Master English community, you see a bunch of stuff, and then you'll see Daniel, Daniel's uh, post here, and if you're got not, now Daniel's, <laughs> Daniel's writing is very artistic, uh, but once again, he's six feet tall if he's an inch. He is six feet tall if he's an inch, and then if you click on it, they have a, a lot of explanation here. It was a gallon of blood if it was a drop. The baby was 10 pounds if it was an ounce. And they'll explain 
the, actually, the, the, the discussion here is very good. So I do recommend that you read this, okay? Okay, it looks very useful. Yeah. I'll put the link here in the chat room, too, and you can look at it later. Yes, sir. And I, 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 should, I should thank Daniel now. I think I did earlier. But uh, thank you uh, for posting this. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Internet is a great, great way. No big deal. It's a... So many resources. Yep. It's, you know, for learning a language, the Internet makes life so much easier. I totally agree. You got, you got great teachers everywhere. You've got material everywhere. Yes. Um, it's really fantastic. I I I can't understand uh, how people uh, learned different <laughs> English Englishes uh, different uh, languages um, in the past times. Yeah, you know, it's especially you know. I mean, if you live in Europe. Yeah, you can learn French, German, Spanish, Italian pretty easily. But if you live in, you know, in the center part of Russia, like where Daniel lives, in, uh Daniel, what's the name of your city? Uh, Arkhangelsk. Arkhangelsk. How can you learn English? It's so far away, but the the uh, the internet is a savior for that. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Any other questions? Yeah, I have I have questions. Uh, I have a feeling that that when uh, when the hotel when the hotel clerk uh, come to Corinne and ask her, he he asked you with a tone as if uh, he asked you you the second or third time. Don't you think that? Yeah. I, I agree. Uh, it wasn't. Yeah, he, yeah. he speaks. He speaks with the tone that it, it's it's not. It it was it was not as if it was not the first the first time. Yeah. Either it wasn't the first time, or the clerk had been watching her for a long time with a rude expression. One or the other. I agree. Yep. Before they even started talking, they already had a bad relationship. I agree. Mm -hmm. Daniel, what's going on? Oh, that was Gene. Gene, are you moving your computer? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're killing us. <laughs> well, I, he's well, taking well, a shower. He's taking a shower. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Remember the other day he was in the bathroom. That was classic. Yeah, that's right. That's we we'll right. have lo lots, lots of other questions, and but they're not. But they're beside. The, okay, let me the, ask you guys a question sorry. about this. I, I have a question for you guys. Now, look at this sentence. There's a beached whale. She's dying. Who's she? The whale. The whale. whale. Now, let's go down here. He was 10 stories high if he was a foot. Who's he? The whale. The whale. The whale. whale. He let out a great bellow. Uh, no. He. I watched him but, struggling. Uh, he. he. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Shane. Uh, he, first he, but second he. Yeah. Uh, it's sentence, he was 10 stories high uh, if he was a foot. Uh, do you mean uh, first he? Oh, the, both. Anyway, the he, all the he's here uh, refer to the uh, whale. All I, just focus on one thing. The woman said she. George is saying he. It's the same uh, okay. thing. And then, okay. and then... Uh, where is it? Okay. Ah, here we go. Obstructing its breathing. Who's it? The whale. The whale. 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 Okay. So, I want you to notice that we're talking about the same whale, but sometimes they say she, sometimes they say he, and sometimes they say it. 
Who can explain that to me? Uh, we don't know for certain this, the gender of the whale. But the, why do they say he? Why do they say she? They should always say it. Americans uh, know that. Because uh, wait, 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 well, maybe when when they say, when they say she, uh, they want to emphasize that it's a kind of pity pity situation. Well, uh, but when they when they when he, when he say he he he, he wants to emphasize that power, big big creature, big beast, and excellent. Uh, That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So. Uh, there's a beached whale, she's dying. So when we describe an animal, we don't know if it's a he or a she, but we say she, it has that, that cute, that uh, we want to take care of it feeling. It has that loving feeling. It has that pitiful feeling. She's dying, she's dying. When George describes it, it's this huge beast, very powerful, so it's a he. And he okay. also says it. Now, another question. So that's for animals. What about if I have, <coughs> if I have a, a big truck, a black truck, and I drive it in the mountains and in the desert? Do I describe my truck as he or she? As he because he's he? Right. As he because he's strong. Now, a really tricky question. What if I have a beautiful red sports car, sparkling and shining and clean? Is it a he or a she? Uh, maybe she, maybe he. Okay, so if I say she, if I say he, what am I thinking of? Uh, maybe uh, a powerful engine. The powerful, powerful engine. Powerful That's right. Engine. If I say I she, need. if I say she, what am I thinking of? Elegant, uh, beautiful, elegant, style. sexy, uh, beautiful. That's yes, right. Yes. That's right. Red so, color. That's right. So, in America, for inanimate objects, not humans, even for animals, sometimes we say he, sometimes we say she for the same animal. But I want you to understand. There is a reason behind it. Uh, it's showing pity or love or cute is a woman. Speed, power, strength, scary is a guy. And that's kind of the idea. So don't get confused on that stuff, okay? Yes. All right, good. Uh, Shane, I have a question about pronunciation. I think that perhaps we would talk we already talked about that, but I still have the silly question. And I like silly questions. <laughs> Good. So, um, uh, and at the end of the first page, the hotel clerk says, if you can turn that thing off, and I have the doubt in, when you say that thing, uh, and you cancel uh, the the T or the TH, what takes precedence, you know, that, that thing or that thing? I am, I'm not really sure. Okay, so one more, I kind of, one more time please, your question. My question is, the words that thing, what, if I cancel, what, what letter is the, the one that I have to cancel, the first T or the TH? Yeah, what happens in this situation is the T, whoops, the T connects. I don't know, perhaps. Gene, turn your mic off. <laughs> perhaps it blends in a new sound. That's right. So it connects and TH is going to be strong. So that thing, that thing, turn that thing off, turn that thing off. Turn that thing off. Sounds good. Turn that thing off. Say it again. Turn that thing off. Say it faster. That thing. Turn that thing off. Faster. Gene, be quiet, please. Turn that thing off. Sounded good. Sounded really good. 
My microphone is very sensitive. Yes, it sounds like you're listening to a erotic film. <laughs> wow. It's not the same. It's not the wow. very same. <laughs> Stop it, please. Wow. <laughs> Gene is making love to the microphone. Shane, I uh, have another another question about uh, this stuff. Yes. Uh, yeah. When when you described uh, uh, the situation when the, when Diane and George was uh, in the beach, uh, you said you wrote uh, Diane looks at George as he turns slowly to, towards towards your realizing the, the irony of the situation he, he is in. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. The irony of the situation. Because what did you mean about that? Okay, what what I, irony? Yeah, I did not write this sentence. I took this sentence from the internet. <clears throat> but I like the sentence. The irony is, is George a marine biologist? Well, not. No, but actually he is, according to Diane. Yeah. <laughs> so, he, in order to keep Diane, he must be a marine biologist, and he must go out there and save the whale. But he's no not. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's right. But uh, I usually use the irony when when people convey when people are conveying words uh, in with or phrases in the opposite uh, meaning with the, with the opposite meaning yes and you know what yeah. actually your point is very fair there's a song um there's a song oh i forgot her name oh i know her name there's a song called isn't it ironic Do you know this song? Do you say I forgot her name? Yeah, do you know her name? The song? Do you know her name? Ah, oh, so famous. She's, no. she's so famous. Hold on, I'll find out. Isn't it ironic? I want to say Alanis Morissette. Oh, it is Alanis Morissette. Yeah. The name of the song is ironic. Hold on a second. Daniel, Americans, including me, use the word ironic wrong all the time um, and uh, I want you to to look at this song and look at the lyrics of the song and you'll see what I mean the usage of ironic and the definition of ironic is many times different to say it nicely um, so yes Daniel I understand what your argument is the usage of uh, the word irony <clears throat> Uh, but that is how we would use it. The irony of the situation is George is not a marine biologist, but he must pretend he's a marine biologist because of his relationship with uh, Diane. Do you understand? I think you understand what I mean. Yeah, it's, it's meaning uh, the, the opposite in, in the situation. It's kind of... Uh, well, uh, things are not things as they as they uh, seem. Or I don't know. Yeah, it's in a, in the song. I'll just say one thing in the lyrics. You can see here. Um, it's like rain on your wedding day. It's a free ride when you've already paid. This is not the actual definition of irony, but it's how we use the word ironic in America. And for English learners, this has got to drive people crazy. For English teachers, we hate this word because the way American... This is, once again, the, the, the difference between prescriptive English and dis descriptive English. And I teach uh, descriptive English, how Americans use English. And other teachers, like great teachers, like... Uh, I learn I, uh, I learn, or learn American English teacher Paul and um, who's the woman Rachel uh, and there's another one 
Jennifer, Jennifer's ESL, great teachers, but they teach prescriptive English, which is the, the definitions and the dictionary, the grammar rules. And my style is descriptive. They're very different types of English. And we need, uh, okay. you need both. You need both. Both are good. Um, but it depends. If you're a young student and you're still learning English, definitely prescriptive English. But if you're an older person and you don't care about the grammar so much, you want to communicate, you want to work on pronunciation, expressions, build friendships, watch movies, you want to travel, then descriptive English is what you need. So Daniel, your question is a prescriptive English question. Does that make sense? <laughs> but anyway, okay. good. the rain... I, I, Anyway, they're wrong. <laughs> yeah, they're wrong. They are wrong. Yes, yes. Yes. But the rain in the wedding day is <laughs> that's ironic. <laughs> that in America we would say that's ironic. By the definition of ironic, it's not ironic. But ironic of mother nature. <laughs> the irony of mother nature, that's right. <laughs> oh, oh the frustration of English. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, simple to understand for <laughs> Russian brain. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Uh, we say so. Like that. Good, good, good. <laughs> uh, okay. If there are no more questions, I'm going to move over. We're, we're wasting time. We're not wasting time. Uh, let me go to... <clears throat> I have a lot of questions that they're beside the point. Go ahead, Daniel. I'm listening. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you explain me uh, what is uh, what competing interest? Okay. That so it's outside of this. Save the question for later. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna reformat this really quickly. This is DDM. Oh, I gotta switch over here. We're gonna go to DDM ninety. And let me quickly reformat this, get rid of all that, change everything to black, get rid of the bold, get rid of the underlines. Why the woman? And yep, and get rid of the spaces and the pictures. And we should be good to go. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Bet at the, the title up to ceremonies, and then I'm going to go Daniel, then I'm going to go Jean, then I'll go Miguel, and then we'll go back to Beretta and Daniel. We'll finish out like that. So, uh, Beretta, can you start, please? Okay. Going for gold. Female athletes will finally take off in Sochi. I'm going to represent my country and a ski and a ski. How do you pronounce that? Ski? ski jumping. Ski jumping, and I'm excited, but I think for me it'll finally sink in probably when I walk into the opening ceremonies. Great. Okay, get it up. Get it up. <laughs> yeah. Rock on. Uh, like other Olympians, who may have who may have only had to worry about training, these women had to fight just to be allowed to compete, citing lack of participants and the controversial notion that the female day wasn't strong enough for ski jumping. The International Olympic Co Committee wouldn't allow women to compete, but after years of campaigning, including a battle in court, female jumpers will be at, at the will, female jumpers will be at the Olympics. Great job. Gene. I'm, I'm privileged to be part of it and excited that we've risen to the occasion. And being able to compete in Sochi is amazing. Keep going. Also new, also new at the games, men's and women's slope style. Skiers and snowboarders perform tricks as they slide and flip over obstacles 
hoping to impress the judges. Great job, Miguel. I think there's gonna be a lot of new young riders coming into the industry, especially with the Olympics now being an event. Another new Olympic sport gives skiers a chance to venture where only snowboarders went before, the half pipe. Great. Berta? When I started really free skiing full time, I was kind of giving that Olympic dream up. Like, you know, I like this sport enough that I'm okay with not going to the Olympics for it. So to be a part of the first wave of, of athletes, getting it in, and that whole thing full circle is amazing. Great. And last one, Daniel. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, other other new team other other new team sports include a figure skating team event, a mixed luge uh, uh, luge relay, a mix a mixed luge relay race, and a biathlon mixed relay. Uh, 98, 98 medals will be awarded in Sochi, the most in the Winter Olympic history. Okay, great job. Now I got a couple sentences I want you to hit again. Um, the Berta, the opening ceremonies. The opening, the opening ceremonies. And be careful with the R cer ceremonies. Cer ceremonies. Perfect. Good job. Ceremonies. Very good. And Miguel, is it Jung or Young? Okay, Young. Try it again. Young. Don't don't finish it. Just say Young. Young. Good. The whole sentence there. I think there's going to be a lot of new young riders coming into the industry, especially with the Olympics now being an event. Great job. Berta, the R again. To the Olympics for it. To the Olympics for it. Yeah, be careful with the tongue. For it. For it. For it. Sounds good. For it. No, that was bad. <laughs> uh, to the Olympics for it. No, to the Olympics for it. To the Olympics for it. That was good. You want to try again? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll now try this, on my own. <laughs> now this, <laughs> this, sentence, this sentence is a tough sentence to read. And if you read it incorrectly, it's very difficult to hear. But the sentence is easy. Other new team sports include... Okay. Wait, wait. Other new team sports include a... B. B. <laughs> Sorry, the cars. And C. Okay, so the sentence is really easy. A, B, and C. But what's important is to keep A as one unit, B as one unit, and C as one unit. So Daniel, mm -hmm. try it again. Okay. Uh, other new team sports, other new team sport, sport, other new team sports include a figure skating team event, a mixed luge relay ra race, and a biathlon mixed relay. Okay, that was much better, but. Do a better job. One more time. Make it even better. One more time. Okay, I'll try. Uh, uh, other new team sports include a figure skating team event, a mixed luge relay race, and a biathlon mixed relay. Yeah, that was much, much better. Very, very good job. And it's much easier to understand. We can hear the da 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 da, -da and da da, -da. Okay, we can hear the A, B, and C. So, if we know about figure skating and luge and biathlon, it's easy to hear. But my mother, who knows nothing about the luge, and she knows nothing about the biathlon, this isn't going to make much sense. But for me and my dad and my sister, we love Winter Olympics. We're going to understand right away because we know about figure skating, we know about luge, and we know about biathlon, and we can recognize A, B and C, and it's it's very important to read them properly. Great job, good job. Actually, Questions. I, actually, I, th I think I think 
you, you, can, you can get you can guess uh, the meaning of the uh, of the word biathlon because it's bio like double. Right, and right, right. You understand However, that it's two it's two, it's two activities uh, some kind. Of <laughs> yeah, it's it's two activities. But for my mom, what skiing and skating? My mom would think skiing and skating. She would never guess cross country skiing and shooting. She'd never guess it. I mean, it, it depends on the person. But yes. Biathlon, it means two sports, that's right. Uh, mixed, a Biathlon? mixed team means men and women. Berta, go ahead. I said, uh, biathlon, how do you say, pronounce that, biathlon? Yeah, what's interesting is the proper, the proper pronunciation, biathlon, biathlon, but many people say biathlon, but yeah, a lot of people do add a syllable, and it's wrong, but but, but they say it like that. Yeah. But the correct pronunciation then is biathlon. No, the correct pronunciation is biathlon. This is the correct pronunciation. Okay. And the same thing with triathlon. Maybe flum means means something. I think it means event. Who's making all the noise? Not me. Uh, it's it, it it's me. Sorry. That's okay. Maybe uh, flum means something. I think it's lawn. I think lawn means something. I'm not sure though. Maybe Latin, Latin, uh, Greece. I think the Greek would be the O N, like marathon. Oh, maybe you're right. Anyway, uh, I think athlete refers to athlete. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, okay. And on is like marathon. You know, marathon with the O N. I'm guessing so maybe it's, uh, some some type some type of event. So two sport event, three sport event, marathon. I guess means a long distance event, something like that. I'm guessing. Maybe maybe, like uh, like the word marine. Uh, I I I can I can forget. Biolo uh, biology. Bio bio flora flora. There you go. Yes. More questions? Uh, uh, yeah, I have a question. Uh, what did you capitalize? To, uh, uh, what, did you, what, what did you capitalize uh, opening ceremonies? Because it's the name of a particular event. Yes. That's a beautiful a cat. Yeah, it's a nice looking cat. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, I thought uh, just the article die enough. Yeah, but it's it's a a particular event that's very famous, and uh, if it, because it's the Olympics, the opening ceremonies. If it's some other small event, would they capitalize it? I think they would capitalize it. Uh, but for the Olympics, you should definitely capitalize it. The opening ceremonies and the closing ceremonies should mm -hmm. be capitalized for the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. Uh, okay. I can't understand uh, uh, for it. For it. Olympics for it. Yeah, the Olympics. Uh, what What does what it is mean? It? What is it? It is this. It is the key. Anybody? What is it? Uh. Free skiing. Okay, okay, okay. So it refers to free skiing in this case. Okay. Free skiing full time. I was kind of getting the Olympic. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, and uh, in that, uh, in this sentence, um, second one. Uh, maybe. Uh, e, e, 
it could be more understandable if uh, if the guy uh, said I was kind of giving up that Olympic dream. Can I say? Like oh that? yes, I oh yeah. Regarding splitting the t phrasal verb, sure, I agree. I agree. Yeah, for an American, it's it's no problem, but for an ESL student, definitely giving up that Olympic dream definitely easier to understand. Okay. So for this it's sentence, everybody, free skiing. In the background. This is all free skiing. <laughs> Who's laughing? It's dog. I don't know. It's that means. <laughs> it's better than friend. <laughs> It sounds uncanny. Peke? <laughs> You're laughing too much. Like, 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 like in a haunted house. Is you, what is Jasmine... <laughs> they think it's Halloween. <laughs> Next question. Next question about competing interest. But it's not a wait. <laughs> okay. If you guys have no questions, we'll let Daniel ask ask his questions. Competing interests, right, Daniel? Yeah, that's right. All right. I'm not I'm not sure about the meaning of this word. I I can give you context if you want. Yes, please. Uh, wait a minute. I need to better that you need to turn go. the heat on at your house. Uh, it's on. Um, you see, that if I have it too high, it, that makes me itchy. Ah. So I need to have it like 68. Oh, that's pretty low. And yeah, pretty low. And my living room is a little cold, and that's the reason I have a blanket. You got a leopard blanket. There we go. Okay, let's Perfect. see. Uh, your sentences are so vague. Vague. Okay. So how's the weather in Nevada? I think you're wearing shorts. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing shorts today. It's it's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like Yo, Americans always wearing shorts. Always wearing shorts. <laughs> Put some pants on. Sit down. Let's have some coffee. <laughs> it's winter. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's winter for most of America. Okay. Um, they have... All right, does this make sense, Daniel? Uh, yeah, but uh, the author, what, what is the okay, author? Okay, so for mean? example, so for example, um, I have a job offer in Seattle for a lot of money. I have a new girlfriend who just started uh, her PhD program in New York where I currently live and work. So I have, I have a dilemma. I live in New York and work in New York and I have a new girlfriend who's excellent and she just started her PhD program which means she will continue to be in New York for three or four or five years. At the same time, I have a new job offer in Seattle which is the other side of America with a, for a lot of money. Which do I choose? I have competing 
a, a compet I have in this case a conflicting interest, a competing interest. I have a love interest in New York, a job interest in Seattle, and I can only choose one. One of them I will lose. So they're competing for my attention. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, now it's uh, clear. Good. Thank you. Yeah. In Russia, we have exactly that uh, that impression, that uh, expression. Conflicting interests. Interests. Say it in Russian. Uh, what? How do you say it in Russian? Conflict interests. Oh, it sounds like Latin. Yes. I thought it would uh, be. Oh, oh by, by the way, I, I, I recently stumbled upon one Latin expression, and I just uh, wanted to ask you, uh, do you frequently use uh, the word quorum populo? populo? Write it down. In, 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 wait a minute. I, 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 I don't know if I can remember the spelling. Okay. Uh, basically, basically, that's okay. I'll but your example, Shane, it was meaning in uh, meaning it in was public. Like it's I watched the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would be a typical <laughs> example of a movie, right? <laughs> Coram yeah, Populo, no. I, I'm not familiar with that, Daniel. Where did you hear it? Oh, well, uh, from vocabulary vocabulary dot com when they explained uh, in other words and they use this word to mean in, in public. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah. I would say it, uh, uh, they, 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 quite they, rare. They, they use li uh, okay. Uh, they use links uh, with. Uh, for, for example, on New York Times, to, to see example, this was an example. Just want to ask you how popular it is. Yeah, should, I use, should I use it or not? But because if I, if I use it verbally, maybe some people won't, won't understand me. Exactly. Uh, if, you, if you ever used it, um, I would make sure it's in a very academic environment. Uh, maybe uh, it's okay in writing, I guess, because it's easy to get the translation. But yeah, even now, Daniel, I just did a, a search on the Google News, and only Italian newspapers show it. So I don't see any English newspapers using it. Maybe I wrote it wrong. I don't know. Uh, I'm looking at Coram Populo. Yeah, yeah, Coram Populo. Yeah, uh, this is right. Yeah, this is right. So it's uh, and my recommendation: don't bother using it. However, knowing your Latin is always a good thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, now another question about the word shortcoming. Shortcoming. Uh, why? Why? Uh, what is? What is? Why do you say shortcomings? Shortcomings. And for me, it's uh, not kind of sounds ah, like because it's nonsensical. It comes up short. So your ability. How far does your ability? Does your ability go to the top? Is it sufficient? Oh, it's just short. It's it's insufficient. It doesn't go all the way. That's why we say mm -hmm. shortcoming. Mm -hmm. It comes mm -hmm. up short. Mm -hmm. Th thank you. Now it's uh, now it's easier. Uh, well, I have another question, but I, I should I, I guess I should uh, give other people <laughs> ask. Does anybody else yes. have a question? Yes. Yes, yes, Gene. Do you have a new bicycle? Oh, this is my old bicycle from uh, from Korea. It just came. Wow. It came yesterday, um, and I have wow. a new a new bicycle for for long distance. Yeah. So I have to I have to take that bike to the shop. 
how is good this bike yes that bike is 10 years old over 10 years old um and uh i paid a lot of money for it 10 years ago yes yeah is it good bike it's a good bike yeah yes but it's old i bought it in maybe 2002 wow. so about 12 years old Yesterday, uh, I watched uh, the the opening te ceremonies, and when <laughs> when countries uh, comes out uh, on the stadium, uh, in the stadium, into in the, the stadium. stadium, into into right, uh, and uh, South Korea <laughs> goes into the stadium. I, I I remember I remember of you, but you you are in USA. I'm back in the USA. That's right. Yes, yeah. yes. But uh, uh, South Korea is uh, uh, the next host uh, the winter game of it's, the winter's game. Yeah, they have it in 2018, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe, I think so. maybe eighteen. Yes, yeah, yes, I think, I think so. so. In South Korea, in Seoul. That's great. Uh, let me ask Miguel. Miguel, does Chile have uh, Winter Olympic uh, athletes? Oh yes, they have. What they events? Have, huh? What What are Chile Chile's big events? Uh, for winter, and um, let me see. Perhaps. Uh, we have ski and snowboarding, but for example, our our group that goes to Sochi was very small, about no more than ten people, and mostly skiers and snowboarders. Yes, that's great. That's great. Berto, what about Mexico? Mexico's a hot country. No, well, my daughter was telling me a while ago that. Mexico only had one. <laughs> oh, that's great! What event? Wow. <laughs> and ski. Wow, that's wow. Really great. That's great. Yeah, only right. one. So I don't know. She thinks because we don't have a, that much snow there, and they don't have a place to practice. <laughs> that's right. Um, I'm very yeah. proud. Yeah, yeah. I think it's great. Uh, guys, do you know Vanessa May? The name is familiar. Uh, is uh, the musician is the uh, woman that plays uh, violin? Okay. Is that your new Somebody girlfriend? Knows? <laughs> Somebody knows. Uh, just uh, the no. name is familiar. Vanessa May. It's the athlete uh, of the country Thailand. Okay. Uh, but interesting. Oh, so That's she's a famous musician and an Olympic athlete. Yes, yes. Wow. <laughs> Must be very rich. But uh, it's uh, she's she's famous uh, as Japanese musician. I see. So she's Japanese, <laughs> or she's yes. you said she's from Taiwan. <laughs> yes, but uh, she she perform uh, for uh, uh, Thailand, uh, Taiwan uh, country uh, in the ski. <laughs> in ski. Oh, that's great. In ski. So, so let me ask you, Gene, will the Russian hockey team win the gold medal? Um uh, America in the woman hockey. Okay, yeah, but we're talking men's hockey and <laughs> Russia Russia was so strong in the 50s and 60s and 70s and then after Gorbachev you guys just died. So are you yes. coming, are you coming <laughs> back? Are you coming back? Yes, I'd like uh, I'd like to say uh, um, when uh, in 98 
games uh, when uh, uh, the NHL players uh, uh, was allowed right. uh, to play uh, in the Olympics game. Yeah. And uh, NHL had a uh, lockout. Uh, it's uh, it's tournament uh, becomes very interesting, very I interesting, agree. and uh, <laughs> as you know, in the final, in that final, um, in county two teams, uh, Russia and. Uh, uh, Che, che, uh, Yager from uh, Jeremy Yager from what country? I don't know. Sweden? No, no, no. Czech. Uh, uh, Czech. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Czech, yeah. Yes. Uh, but uh, in that games, uh, maybe, uh, maybe judges. Maybe uh, uh, several uh, uh, people, uh, serious people, uh, serious game people, uh, maybe uh, will judge loyalty for Russian game, for Russian team. Well, you know, it, it's, I'm looking at the odds. These are, <coughs> excuse me, these are the odds for the uh, hockey. And Canada's two to one, but Russia is right there, almost the same, almost the same. Uh, and Russia has the home, and this is a good, a good expression, the home team advantage. They're the home team. And just like America, every time America hosted the Olympics, America did excellent in hockey. So now it's Russia's turn. Uh, so... Uh, if you guys don't win the gold medal, I'll be very disappointed in you guys. <laughs> yes, uh, it's very uh, it's very rarely for Russian team in the Olympics game. Uh, as I know, uh, the team of seventies. Yeah. Uh, wins, uh, we uh, won two. Uh, Olympic game uh, more than but, that uh, but uh, more 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 than two uh, uh, Vladislav Tretiak is two uh, two uh, one two medals one two gold medal but maybe uh, in that time uh, our team uh, will win uh, the first place. Yeah, you guys won 64, 68, 72, 76. So you won four golds in a row. Oh. Then America <clears throat> beat you in 1980. And then you guys came back in 84, 88, all gold medals. And then Gorbachev came. And then <laughs> you guys, you guys were nothing. Yes, yes. Uh, we, uh, uh, we, ha uh, we had uh, not the best times. Yeah. In nineties, in nineties, uh, when uh, when uh, USSR drop off. <laughs> yeah, you got a silver in ninety eight and a bronze in uh, two thousand two, but yeah, it was yes, yes. not good. Yes. I'm uh, I'm teasing you. I hope that you guys. Yes, are I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna finish up tonight's lesson, but I had a very nice time. I hope that you got some good practice, and I hope that you got your questions in. Any other questions, to, uh, especially for Berta and Miguel? Um, I just uh, put something in the chat room about the, how can we watch the. You know this. And yes. Else. Yep. I'm throwing them up tonight. I'm putting up uh, five or six of them tonight after after this hangout. So uh, after tonight, I will put them up, and they will be public for a while. 
and then I'll probably take them off of being public. So, um, so just keep, if you go to the Google Plus page, you should see it when they're uploaded, okay? All right. Uh, Shane, uh, I want to ask you, uh, did you, did you stop puffing? Smoking? Yes. Yes. Yeah, almost. Uh, I was, when I left Korea, I was down to four a day, sometimes three a day. And then when I came to America and went through a lot of stress with my computers, my smoking went way up and now it's come way back down. And today, I think I've had seven, six or seven, I have to count. Um, so I'm going back down. I'm going back down and keep it up. Yeah, I'll I'll definitely quit. Definitely, but I did go <laughs> up, and now I'm I'm going much farther back down. Uh, okay, you know you know it's it's uh, it, it became uh, almost uh, a moral imperative because you you said you said you said so much about it and you, and you can't just break it. That's right. And, and let it. I let it become just hot air. Exactly. I do not want it to become just hot air. Exactly. Uh, and I've told you, and that's why I told everybody so that you guys would be on me and ask me, and that's important. That's important. So, so, uh, so that. Uh, but wait a minute. <laughs> so, uh, thou shalt vanquish thy uh, sinister dependence upon. Uh, nicotine. Uh, yeah, nic 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 nicotine, nicotine, uh, smoking noxious fumes. Such lovely, elegant English, <laughs> yeah. Daniel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's my old, old, old school English. <laughs> it's beautiful. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, I use it when I want to joke. <laughs> to joke. Ah, uh, they are Russian humor. It's very intellectual humor. Yes, yeah. especially uh, from Arkhan Arkhangelsk. Yes, it's a very cold, <laughs> tough neighborhood. You guys have a fantastic week, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck for American team. Same here. Good luck to the Mexican skier. And to all the <laughs> thank you. And to the Miguel, good luck to all the Chilean athletes, all ten of them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> bye, bye. bye bye. Bye bye. See you. See you. See you. The organizer has ended the session, and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye.